Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room. What, you think the typing of the dead is the best typing game ever created? It is, but there's also this one, Typo Attack on your Atari computer. Can you type by the light of the disco ball? It's Typo Attack for the Atari computer from 1984. And yes, you will need Bring the, typos. the Atari keyboard for this game. No, the Sega Dreamcast one is not compatible with Atari computer, unfortunately. My all-time favorite typing game is The Typing of the Dead, but I used to play typing games way back in the day. In fact, I'm so old, I took a typing class on typewriters when I was in grade school. And I had a game back then, I don't remember the name of it, but I played it on my dad's computer where this wizard would summon things and they would fall from the sky and I would type and destroy them. Pretty much the same concept as uh, what we're seeing here in Typo Attack. Aliens are invading like space invaders and you type and destroy them. If you like typing games, it's super fun. This one has some cheerful music, all right. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Things rain from the sky, you type and destroy them, but the game is always mixing up your letters. So just when you think the alien is on E, it might switch to an S. And then you die. Your typing incompetence results in the complete destruction of Earth. Maybe you should have studied harder in typing class. There's numerous difficulty settings, and each game starts out pretty slow, but then bombards you with aliens and gets tricky fast. Each time one of the alien invaders touches the ground, it erodes your shield. If they hit it enough, it'll break all the way through, and then it's game over. Typo Attack is a simple, brilliant mixture of space invaders and typing. It's no more complicated than that, and it doesn't need to be. It plays really well, provided you have a keyboard for your Atari computer. I'm playing this on the Atari XEGS. It's one of the older games, so presumably it should work on your 400 or 800 as well. Now I'm being assaulted by alien teddy bears. Why did it have to be teddy bears? Whose idea was this? Typo attack can be found eBayisably, and if you're going to buy a copy, buy it through the Classic Game Room website, help the site, and increase your typing speed and proficiency. It'll make you better at programming logo. Here I am, getting my ass kicked at level 9 fast with caps and lowercase. I am not this good at typing. Type after me, I'm S-O-L-F-D. Now, as far as I know, typing games have all but disappeared over the years. No! In fact, the only one in recent times that I can even remember playing is The Typing of the Dead. Maybe they still exist in the online marketplace for tablets, but typing on a tablet sucks. It's not real typing unless your keyboard makes clicking sounds. which the Atari keyboard for the XEGS actually doesn't, but it works pretty well. It's kind of an odd size, though. It took me some time to get used to, and I'm a pretty sloppy typer anyway. If you've ever read any of my posts or uh, website work, they're rife with typos. Once I miss one, I look down at the keyboard and then get all out of sorts and look back up, and then I miss a whole bunch of other aliens. Once the game speeds up, it gets tough. In addition to increasing the speed and difficulty, you can also add the option for capital letters in there, working the shift key into the mix. And as you just witnessed, sometimes the aliens will spin around your letters or something, so double tapping them kind of helps. 
Otherwise, you may just find yourself and your entire planet destroyed. Notice as you keep playing, your score multiplier goes up, it speeds up, it gets harder, it's faster, it's fun. One of the things I miss about typing on typewriters and old school computers is that they didn't try to force autocorrect on you. I know you can turn it off, but occasionally it's helpful until you start typing in a bunch of made-up words, or for whatever reason Samsung still does not believe the Sega Dreamcast exists. Also, Vectrex is not Vertex. I've lost track of the number of times it's messed with me on that one. Typing is becoming a lost art, but we'll always have Typo Attack and a myriad array of other old school computer typing games from back in the day. They're good fun, especially if you're looking for a party game, crack a few beers, see who can type the best on your Atari computer. It's Typo Attack. Thank you for watching. Follow Classic Game Room on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Don't miss Magnum Skywolf, also on Patreon. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano. Introducing Michael Fernandez. Oh, yeah! Michael Nelson! Lord Carnage approves. Jim. Moriarty! Sergio Matthias! Hergert! Jason from Kamloops! British Columbia! Busy! Busy. Busy. Signal! Signal! Signal. Al Cyber! Sean Zoltek. <laughs> I'm just kidding again! Sean Zoltek! Stephen Chucknick from New Jersey! Landon Ellerby! He's the administrator of these credits. Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna, Austria! Woo! Jack Stavris from Australia! Home of Mad Max! Ohad Kane! Cue the Thunder! Jeff! Captain Dauntless! Briar! Rick DeBarros! Out of sight! Will, 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 Will. Kid Shuruken! Fatality! Chip Sink Bale! That was too evil, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Chip Sink Bale! See you next time on Classic Game Room. Thanks for watching.